Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we're talking all about Quiller. What the heck is that? I know, it's such a weird name. But Quiller is a proposal generation system that overlays over the top of your accounting software so that you can generate gorgeous proposals for your customers, including everything from your terms and conditions to the specific inclusions of your packages. So, without further ado, here's what we're going to cover off on with Quiller today. Why you need a proposal system in your business in the first place. What types of businesses Quiller works well for? Choosing the right plan and setting up your account. Configuring your account to suit your branding. Creating your first proposal. Customizing the more advanced features. Sending your first proposal. Organizing and tracking your proposals after they're sent. And finally, what else you can do with Quiller? So without further ado, let's get started. Now, why do you need a proposal system in your business in the first place? Oh my gosh. Uh. If I had a dollar for every business that I've worked with that is still sending out very generic Microsoft Word documents to customers to get acceptance on huge, massive deals, I would be really rich. Basically, I want you all to move ahead, move beyond Microsoft Word, and send out proposals that are easy to read, easy to understand, and easy to accept all online. The best part about using a proposal system is that not only are you getting all of that proposal stuff in the cloud so that you can easily generate templates and cobble together proposals while you're on the go, but you're also getting direct acceptance from an IP address that links up to your accounting software, such as QuickBooks Online or Xero, and dumps the information from the proposal directly into that software. So this whole system is going to really streamline your business. Now, uh, maybe a few months ago, we did an episode on another software called Quotient, which does something similar to Quiller, but basically is just sort of um, like puts all the information in a table. So you can have your information about what you're proposing to the client, and it will generate it as a text document, which can be exported as a PDF. And then we'll have all the quoting information as a table, like you would see in Xero, for example. So each item is broken down based on the line, and you can have optional quantities, optional add-ons, and all that information. With Quiller, what you get is a beautiful software. So rather than being focused on the actual amounts that are outlined in the proposal, you can focus on selling to your customer. I really think the best way that we can um, talk about this is by showing some examples and thinking about will Quiller be the right actual software for your business. So I'd like to hop onto the computer and show you the landing page for Quiller and show the different examples that they give. Rather than me giving you a verbal explanation of all the different ways that you can use Quiller, I think the best way for me to run through this with you is going to be by showing you the landing page of Quiller and giving you direct examples of the different types of proposals that you can create. Now, I will say beforehand that Quiller is best for those very visual businesses. So let's say you're a design agency, a branding expert, a website developer. Quiller allows you to upload these really, really awesome full color images. So it can look great on any device. So you might want to consider for your business whether this type of solution will work for you or not. But I would say if you're already a very visual person, you're going to love it. So let's hop onto the website and I'll show you. You can get to the website by typing in qwilr.com. It's going to allow you to sign up right here for free on, at the beginning, but we'll scroll down the page. And you can see what I mean when I say full width, gorgeous colors, big images. Quiller is amazing and it looks great on any device. So you can send a link to your customer and when they click on the link, the proposal can open on their mobile device or on their desktop in a browser window. 
and it's fully mobile responsive. In addition, with Quiller, you're able to send them a P to sorry to download a document from the proposal that's either a landscape PDF or a portrait size PDF, and you can email that out to your customer as well. So to look at the different examples, go to the top of the page and click on templates. These are all the different business proposal templates that they've got, but technically you could use Quiller for just about anything if you get a little bit creative. So for example, for a sales proposal, um, marketing proposal, an SEO proposal, website proposal, product pitch, copywriting, you can see here that these are all really service oriented. There's even one here for photographers. Um, for social media, for graphic design, wedding planning proposals, interior design. They're giving you tons of different examples. Um, and you can see that it actually looks so different between each, each different proposal. So let's just click here on the one for the website proposal. This is a sample of how the actual proposal will look to a customer. So you can put a beautiful splash image here at the top, kind of like you would see on a new website. And you put in a bit of header text, subheader text, and then you can put some information about your business and who the person is creating the proposal below. Then you have the option to add in images, put in a bit of text, and it even gives you these awesome templates um, to show sort of what the anatomy of a perfect proposal is. Um, and it gives you a lot of different examples as you start to scroll through all the templates that they have. And even they give this statistic here, which I love, and it says less than 3% of users convert to making a purchase on your site. And you know if you're a service-based business in particular, you are going to have to have some kind of contact with your customer before making a sale. Using Quiller allows you to customize the proposal, put in custom text, assess the situation. If you're a photographer, for example, you can put in loads of custom images and graphics if you're a graphic designer that specifically suit the customer that you're attempting to target. And you can set it all up using templates within Quiller. If we scroll down the page, you see that you can have different types of sections. So this one has got a, a splash section with huge header text, nice clear subheader text, and then plenty of room for body text and adding in large images. This is great if you want to make a sale to a customer who requires both written information and visual information because you don't really know uh, what kind of a learner the customer is going to be. As we go down, you can change the background colors, of course, have bulleted lists, numbered lists, and put in your inclusions or exclusions. You can even have big splash images with quotes with testimonials, for example. Down here at the bottom, this is where it starts to get good. You'll have blocks for building out your pricing. You can build out optional pricing, um, quantity-oriented pricing, fixed pricing, and I'll show you all how to do it when we go inside the demo. You can see that this is quite a complex project investment proposal where they've got multiple sections around research, prototyping, the build, different phases of the project all the way up to design that show the subtotal for each section and then the final total excluding tax. So you're able to do quite a lot with Quiller. If you're worried that it's not going to be robust enough, I'm pretty sure that this example will show you that it's easy to build out very customized, high-level proposals that will definitely suit your business. Um, when you go down to the bottom, um, I would suggest just using this as an example of putting some information about yourself and your team, and you can also embed videos. Lastly, at the bottom, you can include your terms and conditions, which pop out here at the bottom and allow you to copy and paste your exact terms and conditions without them being obtrusive. Now, it doesn't show on this example, but what will happen is there will be a button that will come up underneath Project Investment that allows you to accept the quote. Cool. So now that you've seen quite a few different little sections here, I hope that you realize Quiller is very malleable, very flexible. You can do a lot with it. You can upload your own custom images, as you'll see soon, and really wow your customers. Imagine a customer that you've had a phone chat with, ready to buy. You send them a proposal within 10 minutes because you've got all of your pre-built templates all set up. They receive the link on their phone, accept the proposal once they've flicked through on their mobile device, 
automatically an email comes to you, the quote's accepted, it dumps into your zero, creates an invoice, you open up the invoice, mark it um, as 50% uh, for the upfront payment, send it off to your customer, and they can also accept, uh, they can also pay that invoice via Stripe or pay online using a credit card, using PayPal, for example, and bam, your business is completely done within one hour. You also have the option with Quiller using uh, more of the advanced features to get acceptance directly on the proposal and payment on the proposal. So I'll walk you through all of that. What I think the best thing to do is to take a short break and when we come back, I'll walk you through how to choose exactly the right plan and set up your account for your business. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and I'm about to walk you through how to set up your account within Quiller and make sure that you're getting everything configured perfectly for your business. Let's hop on. What you want to do here is click Try Quiller Now if you've been looking at some of those templates. All you've got to do is put in your name, email, and password. So I'll just put in John Doe, admin at demo.company, and a password. And bam, that's it. Now, you can set up your Quiller in three easy steps. Let's do it. Now, similar to a lot of other products on the market, you're able to have your own subdomain with Quiller. So I'm just going to put demo company here. It's free. Woohoo. We'll click next. And we'll fill in a little bit of information. Now, let's use a specific example today. I'm going to pretend today that I'm a graphic designer and that I sell branding products to my customers, okay? So we'll just go based on that example. Now, what we'll do here, let's say that I'm a sole trader. My business is a graphic design business. And we'll just put in my fake phone number and click Next. All right, now it's gonna allow us to choose a template based on graphic design because it knows that we're a graphic designer. So we can use a pre-templated design if you're so inclined, but you guys know that I love starting from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on blank project. What will happen here is um, it will automatically open up your account. Now, I know I promise we're gonna set up the right plan for your business. It's going to put you here on the free trial I'm just going to open up this subscribe now thing. Everything with Quiller pops up into a uh, sort of full hangover page that you've got to then click close on. Now what you can do is sign up for the annual plan, which is two months free. Um, and that's US dollars 2417 per month. If you're keen to just do monthly, you get $29 a month and you get the pro version. So just be aware, you do have to subscribe. I believe to get acceptance on actual proposals, you have to subscribe, but they keep changing it because it's quite a new tool. So by the time you watch this, it might be a little bit different. Where we are right now is we're in the project creation tool. The first thing you wanna do whenever you create a new project is go underneath the um, untitled text line and put in a title. So I might say, this is a graphic design project for Bryn. So, I'll type in Bryn.ai um, graphic design proposal. So you want to give it a, a unique name. To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.